Hey everybody, how are you? It's Robin Jana Rosenhaus. I'm so happy to see you as always. So today we are going to review and wrap up all the manifestation troubleshooting that we've done in the past five videos. All right. And really um, help you hone in on the reasons why you may not be getting what it is you say you want. So before we get started, as you know, my name is Robin John of Rosenhaus. And if you're new here, what I do is I help six, seven and eight figure entrepreneurs and their teams to clear the energetic chaos out of their businesses in as little as one day and pave the way to peaceful profits. Okay. Let's get started with this recap. So the first thing we talked about, which I believe was a week ago, Saturday, was one of the first snafus that you can run into is not knowing what it is that you want. Like you may think that you know it, but you really don't. So for example, let's say you want a successful business. Well, here's the thing. What is your definition of a successful business? What does that look like specifically for you? If you don't know all this, number one, you're not going to have a uh, be able to see the guideposts that will bring you closer to it, right? Nor will you recognize it when you have it. So that's really, really super important. Getting really clear and specific about what it is that you want. Now we skip Sunday because Sunday I did the business energy for the week. Monday's video was about why your intuition is wrong sometimes and what we discussed in detail and go back and watch this one for sure is we uh, sometimes inadvertently and unconsciously change our goals right and so what happens is we often trade that long-term goal, right? You've decided what, you know, what it is that you want. You have defined the parameter parameters so that you know when you achieve it, right? Um, and you're taking the steps to reach it. And then you're listening to your intuition and you're like, oh, okay, this is one of those steps. And what you find is that took you in a completely wrong direction. It took you away from, from your, uh, your goal. And the reason that that happens is a lot of times we inadvertently have traded that long-term goal for instant gratification. And that instant gratification could be just checking things off on your list. And when you check those things off on your list, those things have nothing to do with getting you forward. They're just like busy work things, but they make you feel like you're doing something. So I, I give a few more examples in that video. That's probably one of your most important ones to watch. That's probably the most common um, uh, issue that we run into when manifesting or uh, working to achieve any of our goals. So that was um, Monday's video. Did I say Tuesday? That was Monday's video. Tuesday's video was mm, how your perception of reality can limit you, right? So these are um, things like how you interpret the world, the meanings 
that you give to things. They can keep you in a box rather than allowing yourself to have the expansive thinking and allowing your consciousness to reach a different level. Different level doesn't mean better, right? Different level just means different. And that different level allows you to see opportunities that you may have been blinded to beforehand, right? This is also the time, like you have to understand, everything is filtered through your awareness, right? So when you expand your awareness, you have a, a, a different filter for things to come through. This is also the time when you really want to stay solution oriented. Like it, it really is the time where you are, you are troubleshooting and what is the next step? Okay, this didn't work. What will work? What is going to get me closer, right? But why didn't it work doesn't always matter. Oftentimes the why doesn't matter other than maybe because you changed your focus. So what do I need to do to get back on track, right? And it is, it's often something that requires you to look through a completely different lens, which means having a different perception of reality. And the easy way of doing that is to just give things a new meaning, because remember, uh, the meaning that has been given to everything in your life, it's all man-made, it's all made up you get to choose something different, right? You get to choose this. So choose the perception that helps you to move forward rather than the one that keeps you stuck, right? Um, And then on Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, we talked about guilt and shame and how that shows up in your life and how that can very much stop you. And, you know, it's, it's interesting because I, I saw a Facebook post today, and this is uh, a great example. Um, there's uh, somebody who is in healthcare, right? And he is, you know, he's, he's marketing online. He's actively marketing online. And a big part of what doctors are doing now is they're trying to show that they're human beings, right? So that um, we're more willing to to go to that person, like we can trust that they have the wisdom and the knowledge and that they're a human being, not this God that we've put on a pedestal. And so what he was saying is he was going, he's going parasailing today. And he wanted to do a live video on that and share like the benefits of it and the joy and all of this kind of stuff. And he feels guilty because he feels like he is, well, first of all, because some of his patients are really sick, you know, not all of them, but some of them are really sick and they can't go parasailing. Some of his patients will never be able to afford parasailing. And so he's afraid that by showing something like that, people are going to judge him and judge his prices and think that he's trying to throw his good health in their face. Well, this is where what I just said in terms of the perception of reality comes in, right? Because yes, a person can view that in that manner. And a person can view that as a goal to strive for with their health and maybe maybe not specifically parasailing, but reaching that point in their health journey where they can do more rather than being um, pulled down by their health issues. And somebody can also look at it as an oppor- as, as a way of saying, oh, look, you know, this person, you know, makes money. If somebody else makes money, why can't I make money? There's no reason that I can't make money if somebody else can make money. We're all just humans, right? But the guilt and the shame can really hold you back from allowing yourself to have what you want. 
And then yesterday, Thursday, I talked about con consistently staying laser focused on your end result. Staying focused on what it is that you want, that you desire, and not allowing your focus to get pulled into the don't wants. Because what happens is very often the stuff we don't want, right, um, we often have a deeper connection to it because we're in it. A deeper, and when I say deeper connection, I mean a deeper emotional connection because we are in it. And that emotional connection is a big part of what informs your brain of what is important, right? So your brain doesn't judge, oh, they don't want more of this. Your brain is, is, is built to say, oh, this is where the focus is. So this is what I need to filter through my awareness, keep my level of consciousness at, and find more to support this, right? Where, where focus goes, energy flows, right? That whole thing. It all comes from the, the way the brain processes things. So the things you pay attention to the most is what your brain is, um, uh, what's the word? Not trained, um, built. It's the way your brain is built to, to pay attention to, to bring you more of. It's the, to do its job. Right? So when you focus instead on having more money, being better health, and again, goes back to the first thing, having the focus and the clarity and, and the definition, we'll say, of, of what all of that looks like and staying there, putting more attention there, um, you, running, you know, instead of Instead of worrying about blowing up the blocks in front of you and the obstacles in front of you, acknowledging, okay, here's this obstacle. What can we do differently? How can we go around this? Like, how can we make it so this obstacle is just a non-issue and is no longer an obstacle? Because the thing is, what happens is, again, when you focus on that obstacle and how you're going to blow it up and, oh my God, I have to clear this. I have to clear this. Now, now your focus is on, I have to clear this obstacle rather than have more money, be in good health, have a job that you love, have a business that you love, hiring employees who support your business, who have the same culture, who, who support the company culture who have similar values as you do, who bring to the table skills that you don't have, right? So attention, what you pay attention to is truly, truly like the piece of the puzzle. Like it's, it's the most important piece of the puzzle because even even if you find that you have the guilt and the shame, for example, if you focus your attention away from that, you are not feeding the guilt and the shame. And that will start to dissolve on its own because you're not, you're not reinforcing it. You're not reinforcing the negative behavior, right? And that allows your perception of reality to expand. And then it helps your intuition to be tuned in to the proper channels. And again, you know what you want so that when it shows up, you're like, ha, here it is. Right? And, you know, this is like the, the basis of really everything that I do. Like even when, we, when I'm doing business clearings, when I'm doing coaching, 
all of this. It's all about, okay, what do you want? How is this behavior or habit supporting what you want? Is this behavior supporting what you want? Is this emotion supporting what you want? Like, you know, and I say, I, you know, one thing I say is your emotions are valid, but they're liars because your emotions are often based on those perceptions of reality, which can easily be changed by giving something a new meaning. And you get to decide what things mean to you in your life. So, all of this, all of this helps to align your energy. And, and what do I say? When your energy is aligned, align your energy and you accelerate your results, right? So, all of these pieces, which are super simple, not always easy, but they're very simple. If you can keep this in mind, you will align your energy. You will accelerate your results. When, when crap shows up, you will move through it quickly and easily. And it won't like get attached to you. I'm just checking my notes. Yeah, that, so that is really what I have for you on this subject, okay? Um, if you found this helpful, I would love for you to share the video out, number one. Number two, if you need help with any of this, message me. I have all different kinds of tools that we can talk about that can help you to get over the hump. Whether it's something as simple as an energy reading or as big and complex as having me on monthly retainer. But these tools, look, they're new to you. You're not always going to remember them. When you have me on your team, I can help you remember them. And the more that you remember them, the more you are going to shift and change the things in your life that you don't like. And the more uh, uh, easily and faster, <laughs> quickly, you'll be able to bring in more of what you do want in your life. And all of it done in a way that supports peace. Not boring, not no fun, but that inner peace, that foundation that makes it so much easier for you to go out in the world and take chances and go for what you want. And if that includes parasailing, you can do that too. You want to go zip lining through the jungles, you do that too. Or if you just want to hang out by the beach, sipping, you know, pina coladas, you can do that too. Whatever it is. So that is what I have for you today, Friday, July 23rd. Um, I am going to put this group of videos in a playlist on my YouTube channel, which is, um, I think it's Robin J. Rosenhaus. It might be Robin John or Rosenhaus. I don't remember now. Try Robin J. Rosenhaus. <laughs> You'll find me. You'll find me on YouTube. But I'm going to put these together in a playlist so that you don't have to search through my Facebook page or my YouTube channel. And, uh, not YouTube, IG channel. And they'll all be there, simple and easy. You can watch one after another and get the information that you need. Okay? And it's all free because it's over on YouTube. 
it's a great way to get started. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great weekend. I will be back here on Sunday with the business energy for the week. This is Robin Jana Rosenhaus. And again, remember, when you align your energy, you accelerate your results.